All right, hello folks. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough on this new Lance travel trailer model, the 1875, just received it. So we're gonna go do a quick exterior walkthrough and then we'll go inside. I'll be pointing out the options on this unit so you can look at them and have an idea how we ordered it. So coming up front, this is a standard thing. The uh, three tanks now for 2022, 2023. Uh, this is a 23 model. Also with the front smart jack. Apologize for the noise, we're right next to the road. On the side here we have the pull-out tray that comes with now standard on these units. This is also the battery compartment for the Lance. This one we didn't have any batteries put in it. Normally we would order either lithium from the factory or if the customer wanted standard batteries, we can also install standard batteries. So the length of this trailer is about 19 feet and it's 23 feet overall from the front to rear. It does come with the power awning, push button power awning off the side there. Here's an optional thing, uh, optional equipment that we put on, which is a revolution step from Torque Lift. This 23 does have the Euro door with the screen. See the screen there. I believe this one has the shock absorber package, which comes with the additional shocks on the springs. See them there. Come off the side. The JBL charge port for the portable speaker, that's standard. Coming off the back here, we're gonna have the optional backup camera. And that comes with its wireless monitor. You can just mount that in your pickup truck or in your tow vehicle. And then the standard hitch receiver off the back for utility. It could be for bike racks, things like that off the back. Then we have the slide out cover, which is that vinyl cover over the top of it there that's gonna extend and retract with the slide out. Storage compartment with the wrap around dinette. This is the driver's side front. If you notice up top, there is the roof rack system. So that's an optional equipment there that you can order from Lance. This is the utility and water inlet section. You can see the white dump valve there. That's to flush out your fresh water tank. And then off the back here is where you have your black and gray hose dump. Outside shower, that's standard again. This storage compartment in the side here, this is uh, normally utilized for your electrical 30 amp cord. You can use it for whatever else you want. This is a storage compartment that can be used for a small generator. This is just for storage, vented out so none of the gas fumes or anything can come inside if you're gonna store some gas, but it's just for storage, you gotta run it outside. And then the stabilizers off the bottom those are electric stabilizers, they're standard now. And the switch for both of the front and rear installed here in the storage compartment in the front. We still have that table that comes with it. So now let's go inside. Now this one we have in stock right now has a convertible sofa, which again is, I believe is an option on this one. I'll double check. And a little longer than the 15, it's similar to the 1575, this trailer, but it's a dual axle, but it does have the forward facing bed, which means you're going to get the cabinets, extra storage off both sides. And then this will convert into a, a queen size mattress. I'll point out some of the options in a minute. Coming off the side here, you still have the five cubic foot refrigerator like the 1575.
looks like the same type of cabinet that the 1575 has. The dinette is bigger, so you have the full wraparound dinette, the pull-out storage drawers with locks there at the bottom. And let's see off the back. Looks like a 40-inch television. And then you have the same, very similar cabinet as a 1985, if you're familiar with the 1985 from Lance. And the JBL there and the electric fireplace. Then we have the kitchen here with the three burner stove top in the oven, gas oven. And then up top is gonna to be the hidden microwave inside the, inside the cabinet here. So that's standard now. Many of the th many of the optional things back in 1918 and 20 are now standard like air conditioning, microwave, electric stabilizers. So for more details on that, you guys can always call me, reach out to me, email me. Show the bathroom here. So the bathroom has the same type of sink as the like the 2075, the 2445, and then it has the bigger shower that they offer in the 1985, 2285. So nice big shower here. Come off the back. So this one's in stock, just came in. Uh, if you want more details, you can always reach out to me. Uh, we can look at the option list. I'm gonna try to post the option list here, highlight it on the video, so you can so you can look at the list. Um, but just looking at it real quick from my side, looks like slide cover for the awning, for the not the awning for the slide. We got the backup camera, the battery monitor. We'll point that out in a minute. Uh, has the 1500 watt inverter, the roof rack system, the revolution step on the entry door. And then we also have the shock absorber package and the solar panel. So here's the battery monitor off the side. So you can get an idea where your batteries are sitting at. And then normally the inverter is installed underneath the bed, which if we can see here, we can see right through there. That's a 1500 watt inverter. So that's hooked up. And again, about the batteries, we can just always decide if, what kind of batteries you want to put in the unit. If you decide to purchase a unit that doesn't have batteries. And uh, go from there. One thing I did forget up top, is standard now, is the, the power fan. So that comes with them automatically as a standard feature. So it's not listed on the option list. So this 19, 19, uh, 1875, I'm sorry, is available. Uh, you can look at look up the options on my website or you can reach out to me at galaxycampers at gmail.com or call me here at the dealership at 909-988-4744. Again, this is Miguel with Galaxy Campers. Thank you for your time.